Hello people, how's it going? It's raining, it's miserable, it's autumn, can't get the birds out, can't do anything outside, in the workshop, don't mind, got the stove lit, it's nice and warm, dry. Um, I've just done another video, but I've put the video on my other channel, which is El Harrop Knives, and I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, I'm going to use that channel just for knives, axes, swords, stuff like that, stuff I'm making. This channel I'll leave it to uh, the roller pigeons and my rocket stoves and my pizza ovens. I was hoping on this video update to show you my new pizza oven, rocket stove pizza oven, but I haven't finished it because I've been making knives. I've been making knives the last two weeks now and I've got some for sale and I've got a new website as well which I'll also put in the description below. Uh, it's part of what I want to do. I, I want to I want to be a knife maker. Um, well I am a knife maker <laughs> but as it's sort of, sort of something I want to do for more full time and as well as sort of develop wood burning stoves, rocket stoves, things like that. Like I say, this, this little pizza oven is a fantastic little thing. Um, I'm going to do something with it commercially. I've had a few hurdles with it. I've had people, I've had, I've asked people to fabricate things for me. They haven't done. I've had suppliers let me down with one thing and another. It's just, you know, it's like all these things. You try and do something, you expect people to be a bit more cooperative than not. Um, so, you got to... You kind of just got to suck it up and keep going with it. But I have got, I've got the, I've got the thing there. It's on the bench behind me. There's no point me showing it to you because it's not even assembled yet. I went with a vermiculite lining inside, which is fantastic and looks beautiful. But the only problem is that's made the oven quite heavy. So I am thinking maybe get a thinner vermiculite, or I was, I've seen another refractory or insulator, high temperature insulator, which maybe could be used for the oven. Um, I've sent the firm an email um, asking them sort of if, if it's food safe, you know. If it is, good. I'll get some of that and I'll probably replace this vermiculite with that. Because the way I've built this oven, it's it's there's no welding on it. Everything is sort of fabricated. It's It's just screwed together. Uh, bolted together so if you if the lining ever did deteriorate and fall apart you can replace the lining and um, that's the way I wanted to go with this uh, it's a great little oven I'm really looking forward to showing you this but anyway I just wanted to put this video on to send some of my subscribers if you're into knives and stuff like that or you want to see what I'm doing on my other channel please go and subscribe and have a look at that and I will uh, I will see you very soon because now as I finish these knives I'm going to get back straight onto this oven and get it finished, so hopefully within the next week, yeah, I would say in a, in a week, um, I will have this oven finished and I will also now finish off my subscriber knife. <laughs> Thanks for being patient, fellas. I will get it done alongside this oven, should we just say that? Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.